Good morning everyone slash almost afternoon. It's currently 11.42 p.m. Saturday, January 7th. It is January. It's my first like, not really first talking to vlog. Um, I did a travel vlog, but I didn't really talk to the vlog on the travel vlog. So I originally planned to wake up around like eight or nine to get like productive start to the day. Obviously that didn't happen. Um, I did wake up at eight and I was like, mm, I'm gonna like sleep a little. I had set an alarm and I thought I'd snoozed it, but then I realized I didn't set a snooze for that alarm. So I woke up around 11, didn't get out of bed until like 11.30 and I'm awake and getting after it. I'm planning on going to the gym this morning just to get back into it. Hopefully it won't be too crowded, but of course New Year's resolution people might be there. Obviously, as we know, there's no dog here right now. I had to leave um, Radar with my parents because uh, he couldn't go on the plane and I didn't want him boarded because I'd rather leave him with people that I know. So I'm going really sad and lonely without him. Um, but again, I'm going to go to the gym. I need to go grocery shopping because I have not gone grocery shopping since I came back on Tuesday. And um, my bridge, bridge, my fridge is looking a little bare right now. I have like no fresh things. I have a lot of like pantry items um, since my parents helped me restock, but I definitely need to go grocery shopping and get some things, maybe figure out what meals that I want to eat. And then I want to read my book. I got a Kindle for Christmas, so I'm reading on my Kindle. Reading the book Anastasia by Sophie Lark. I'll show you guys later. And I need to finish editing my year in review 2022. Excuse me, video. Um, yeah, that's all I have planned right now for today. Tomorrow I have a hair appointment where we are going to continue the coloring process for my hair. Obviously, you could see a little bit of how my roots have grown out, like maybe an inch here. And then we're also just like trying to get my hair to the point I actually want it at. So that's tomorrow for probably about like five hours. So hopefully it'll be a bit of an exciting vlog, um, but we'll see what's going on for today. I just threw on this set from Target. Very cute. I like the colors. Um, I wish I got more because I don't think they sell it anymore. So I just usually grab a sweatshirt to throw over top. So I'm going to grab, if I can set my phone down because that's what I'm recording on, um, this shirt that I got in Chikutera in Italy like three years ago. Oh, it's going to be three years ago. That's so sad. Um, and then I always throw up my hair in a ponytail with a headband and um, my shoes. These are my running shoes. Um, my workout shoes, they're probably not the best, but they're Nikes. Yeah. Let's go work out. Almost two o'clock and I literally just made breakfast. I'm doing laundry. I got back from the gym around 1.10, took a shower. I was gonna do some new side up eggs on toast and then I turned into the, whatever the one after that one is, or I flipped it over. And I made myself some coffee. I did the caramel cookie Nespresso pod and then I did soy milk um, in here. And then I put cinnamon in it just to try something new. And I think I put too much cinnamon, but it, it's not too bad. I know for next time, it just kind of all came out at once. I'm a candle lit, I'm gonna eat. And then I need to get a new grocery list together so I can figure out what I 
need and what is missing from my grocery list. I just got off the phone with my sister. We chatted for a long while, so my bad. I wasn't gonna chat for as long and then I realized my battery was almost dead on my phone. So I was like, I should probably chat with her while my phone is charging because I need to go grocery shopping. I have finished making my list for grocery shopping. Um, while I was talking with her, I was going through Pinterest. I found a bargain that I really want for my new apartment. Oh, and I figured out the layout. Uh, like I just wanted to visualize and see what the layout of the apartment I'm going to and like the furniture that I want to get because I want to get a new sofa. I want to get a dining table. I want to get a bar cabinet. Eventually, I want to get another like a different desk um, because the top of the desk is coming off. I want to get nightstands because that is a cart and I don't want to use a cart for a nightstand anymore. I want to get another bookcase because mine is filling up and yeah. So obviously there's like a lot I want to do. Um, I'm not going to do it all at once because that would hurt my bank account a lot. But I just wanted to like get an idea of the vibes I want to go for in my new apartment because I feel like this apartment was the transition of like moving from Iowa to here and I realized that it's a little small. Um, but my next apartment, um, I'm just moving units in my building is gonna be like, I'm gonna stay there for like two, three, maybe four years before I move again within the city. I need to stop my dryer. I'll touch it up when I come back from grocery shopping and then go grocery shopping. I just spent two dollars on groceries, so prepare for a grocery haul when I get home. Yay. A very large grocery haul. Spent like two hundred dollars. No coupons, but here we go. This is like all my frozen slash um, needs to be refrigerated stuff. I wanted it closest to the fridge so I could get it in the fridge right after I do this. Um, starting in the back, I got two different kinds of coffee creamer. I got the white chocolate mocha and the almond milk and oat milk caramel macchiato. Got some no pulp calcium and vitamin D trap 50 sour cream for a recipe. Any tizers, boneless chicken bites, um, honey barbecue flavor, chicken breast for meals, quesadillas, and um, another thing I'm going to make. I got baby spinach mozzarella, sharp cheddar, and Italian. This is in place of the Monterey Jack that I needed for a recipe. Mixed berries, I'm gonna try to make acai bowls. Carrots, American cheese for some sandwiches. Onion for a recipe, green peppers and red peppers. This is for a recipe, this, and also to like just snack on. Arugula for a recipe. Got blackberries, cherry, uh, grape tomatoes, blueberries, and strawberries. These three are for, well, they're all for recipes, but this was leaking and it's very annoying. We got minced garlic also for a recipe. Got soap because I ran out of soap. Bacon for a recipe. Never cooked bacon before, so we'll see how that goes. We have boneless, skinless chicken breasts and some meat for recipes. I got spinach wraps because I wanted to try them out. Normal tortillas, strawberry, banana, Greek yogurt, and mixed berry Greek yogurt, bagels. And then these two are breads that I wanna use for to like make sandwiches. I wanna try to make what I like at Subway at home. So this is what that is for. Avocados for a recipe, bananas. Got chocolate mint chip ice cream, which I desperately need to put in the freezer. And then I got both bread and butter spears and chips. We'll see how the chips go because I'm, I'm doing that for the mock like Subway sandwich and we'll see if I like the chips um, on there. We got more oats and honey granola, almonds for acai bowl and then to snack on. This acai powder was extremely expensive, so I need to find something else because this was way too expensive, but um, I wanna check making acai bowls. Got tomato soup and cream of mushroom soup for a recipe. <laughs> I got enchilada sauce and this is the 28 ounce. It's the only one they had that was mild. The, they only had hot um, in the 10 ounces and I only need 10 ounces. So we'll see how that goes. Got salt because I ran out of salt. I'm just going to refill my thing and then mac and cheese. So that is the very huge grocery haul. Now I need to put everything away because I don't want anything to thaw out. To cook this blistered tomato pasta. It looks so good. I'm so excited. I realized the bag I grabbed had only four ounces of arugula, so we'll see how that works.
haven't updated hi that's my lion um since i showed you i was cooking i ate my food it was good um it's good both cold and warm so that's cool i almost forgot to add in the parmesan i literally plated it and then i was like shit i forgot to add the parmesan so i threw it back in the pot to add the parmesan and then i added a little bit more when i put it on my plate it was very very good i just didn't put in the red pepper flakes um because i thought they would be spicy i don't know so i finished all my laundry um folded it put it away which go me i also did all my dishes i'm having like a good week of like actually doing all my dishes like all the time um i need to get ready for bed i'm probably gonna read my book a kindle for christmas with the purple leather cover but this is the book i'm reading anastasia by sophie lark what chapter am i on i don't remember i'm on chapter oh frick okay i'm on chapter okay it's very touchy okay um, I'm on chapter 26, and I have 21 minutes left of the chapter, and I have, God, I'm not launching what I'm doing. Mm -mm. I don't remember what page I was on, dang it, I have... About seven hours and 44 minutes left in the book. I'm hoping to get a really big portion of it read when I get my hair done tomorrow. I should get ready for bed because I have to get up early. I'm going to try to wake up at six. Not six. Oh my god. That would be really early. I'm going to try to wake up at like 7, 7.30. Um, slowly get ready. And my goal is to take the 8.48 light rail because my hair appointment's at 10. And it takes about an hour to get over there. And so either take the 848 light rail or the 908 light rail. So I'm going to shoot for the 848 light rail to get over there. So, oh, you can see me in my glasses. Look at that. Anyway, um, I'm going to go to bed. So, good night. rushing to get ready. So um, I definitely slept in a little bit today and I was planning to take 848 light rail, but then I looked at, I was like, I should probably look at the path timesheet of when the arrivals and departures and everything. And um, even if I left at the 848, I still would have had waited for the same path that I would have gotten if I left at 908. So which is a 9.33 path. So I was like, whatever, I'll just leave at 9.08. That's 9.02, so I'm a little stressed, a little frazzled. Um, the look for today is just this bodysuit from H&M, jeans from H&M. I'm gonna throw in booties because I wanna look cute to take a photo today um, after my hair appointment. This is what the hair looks like before. Um, we're just continuing the lightening process today. So I need to be heading out like right now. <laughs> definitely not planning to be out like all day today uh, hence why I wore booties otherwise I would have worn tennis shoes um but then after my hair appointment um my friend just moved to Jersey City I was very curious about her apartment um because she lives in Newport so what those um views of the city were from was from her literally from her room so I'm literally jealous my hip hurts so bad because we literally walked from her apartment to the Ainsworth in Hoboken which was a 20 minute walk and luckily her and I are the same shoe size 
so I was able to wear tennis shoes, but I've been walking in my boots all day. And my hips hurt, my feet hurt, and I just want to go to bed. I don't even want to be out this late. I have a really terrible um, thing of saying no to people. And I just like don't know how, well, I don't know how to say no to my friends. I know how to say no otherwise, but like I don't know how to say no to my friends. I'm such a people pleaser, so I was out all day and I did not want to be. So I am literally just gonna hop into bed because I am so tired. Um, yeah, I got my hair done. <laughs> um, you guys saw it, but I am just gonna put myself into bed and read because. First of all, my book took this huge twist that I was not expecting, like, at all. Um, like, low-key, though, I, like, I don't like it. I don't like the twist it took. Um, it was very gruesome. Not what I was expecting at all, so. I work tomorrow, obviously. I work basically all week, obviously. And then next week is Martin Luther King on Monday, so I don't work on Monday. I'm gonna get ready for bed and probably sign off later oh i um i did stop by bath and body works and let me show you all the soaps i got because i ran out of soap and i don't like the soap i bought yesterday all right quick haul i got blueberry bellini vanilla cloud pink peach blossom moonflower petals and twilight rose also i do have to say i'm very impressed i have not charged my kindle since before i left iowa and right now it's currently at 75% and I've used it every day. Um, I don't read often or I don't work for long periods of time, um, but I'm very impressed with how long of a charge at like how well it keeps the charge and I don't have to charge often. So anyway, I'm gonna get ready for bed because I'm so exhausted. <laughs> All right, hello. I am going to sign off the vlog. I am reading. I've been literally reading for the last half hour. Um, just because the book is good. Although that plot twist um, was not what I was expecting in Extremely Group Zone. So I guess I did not like that. Um, it was a little too gruesome for my taking... I mean, I've read Game of Thrones, so that's pretty gruesome. I think in Game of Thrones, you kind of expect that. But in this storyline, you don't really. So it kind of came out of left field. But I'm going to continue reading. I'm about 68% of the way through the book. Um, and then I'm going to go to bed. So thank you for watching this lovely weekend in my life. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you liked going along with, you know, getting my hair later. And all the errands I ran on Saturday. <laughs> I'm tired. So um, I subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and I'll see y'all on the next one. One, two, three, fuck it. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.